Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Whoa. I love you, Dr. Pym. We've taken the Hyundai Veloster. They told us that we could do whatever we wanted to it to turn it into what we needed to do. This car has to be cool and it has to be memorable. Awesome! Okay, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Give me something. Give me something. I have glass. No, 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 that's good. Like that. Scott. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. We gotta go, now. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, we start to play with the whole notion of scale. Drinking and growing as a visual concept, as a sci-fi idea, as a superhero idea, is so cool. ideas of this film is that they've exported shrinking and growing beyond just suits and people. Suddenly, cars can shrink, entire buildings can shrink. It's a film about being on the run and about being chased. As a filmmaker, you're always looking to up your game about everything. We're going to double down on all the things that we liked in the first movie. There's a lot of play with the scale. It's going to be a car chase that is a little bit different from the car chase you've seen before. We have all these cars intersecting and hitting each other and shrinking and growing. We're going to die. I don't want to die. Eh, what I miss? We were just tiny. I thought it was a perfect car and almost more of a dream for Louise to drive. The scope of this film is so much bigger than the first film. There's going to be a lot more oh my god moments in this one. We're doing car jumps, we're doing car flips. Enough. I wish I had a suit. I would even like like a suit with like minimal powers, you know? Or maybe even just a suit with no powers. The end of the first Ant-Man, I shrink down so small that I hit a quantum scale. Daddy, help! Oh, no. Yes. And it's the first time Hank has ever been exposed to somebody who could go down there and come back. And that begins to set in his mind the idea that maybe he can go get Hope's mother back. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, we're going to explore the quantum realm. We start to play with the whole notion of scale. It's not just about being tiny. It's not just about being giant. It's about all of those scales in between. Scaling things up in this movie has been a real treat. 
This is the control room of Hank Pym's laboratory. And we're making a film that revolves around technology and science and engineering and quantum physics. We need some of the most cutting edge technology to help us tell our story. Ant-Man and the Wasp rely on high-performing technology to be able to save the world, to be able to fight crime. Their superpowers are technology. That's what Dell is about. So we thought that this was a really good fit for both sides. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. You will see Ant-Man size action and giant size action, and you may see a lot of different size action in between. So long. She just wanted to give me a hug. Wish me luck. Really? Yeah. From that moment, things don't stop moving. <laughs> Having amazing visuals allows them to immerse themselves in the world. Maybe you just need someone watching your back, like a partner. Will they be able to work as a team together? Will she be able to find her lost mother? There's so much action and the stakes are so high. Immediately, the minute that we introduce the character of Ghost, the game changes. Set against the backdrop of quantum realms and shrinking and growing, that's the fun of making an Ant-Man movie. I don't wanna die! We didn't die! I dare you to blink because things don't stop moving. Eh, what I miss? We were just tiny. And then you have Wasp. Hi. She's someone that we've never seen in action on screen, and that's been great in terms of figuring out how she moves, how she fights, how she flies. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me? No, I did. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. In this film, Hope possesses some very impressive skills. She seems more intense. I was so excited to have the chance to go back to this character. One word that would define the wasp is kinetic. This is a uh, <laughs> picture wrap on Mr. Paul Rudd. Oh, no. <laughs> Before Paul talks, and I know he'll talk, uh, I just want to say, uh, this, uh, this experience working on this movie has been amazing and, uh, the largest part of it has been you going to the center of it. I'm constantly in motion, and there is barely room to breathe. I had moments where you think, whoa, how did I get here? That was great! <gasps> Tell me you were filming! This is bananas. I dare you to blink. The only chance we've got is both of you. One of the things that I really like about playing this character is he is thrown into these extraordinary circumstances. Shrinking, flying around on ants, entering quantum realms, and life-threatening stuff. One thing that we've always tried to sustain is dealing with everything with a little bit of a sense of humor. Uh, if you don't work, the movie doesn't work. And uh, I, I don't know, I'm gonna speak for myself, I'm probably speaking for a lot of the rest of you. Uh, if you know and love all the movies, Of tricks in this movie that the audience hasn't seen before. You will see Ant Man size action and giant size action, and you may see a lot of different size action in between. Hiya, champ. How was school today? Ah, ha, ha, ha. And